And as we begin tonight, Title 42 is just hours away from expiring. Communities on the southern border are preparing for a potentially huge influx of migrants. This is new video from our news gathering partners at Telemundo, showing the scene at the border in Sasabe, about 71 miles south of Tucson. Tonight, sheriffs in Arizona are demanding action from the federal government. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Mark Curtis and I'm Kariba Devine. Title 42 is the pandemic restriction that allowed the federal government to turn migrants away at the border. According to Homeland Security officials, authorities encountered more than 10,000 migrants along the U.S. southern border just yesterday. And NBC News citing a top official who is saying as many as 65,000 migrants are in northern Mexico waiting to cross. Customs and Border Patrol processing centers are already over capacity. Tonight, Team 12's Chase Go Lightly spoke to people in Stanfield about the end of Title 42. He's also breaking down how our law enforcement agencies are preparing. You don't have to be in Stanfield too long to notice farming is what keeps this place going. I've been working out here for almost seven years. Devin Contreras is a truck driver for farms and dairies here. He said when Title 42 was enacted three years ago, this tiny town of about 500 people got even smaller. We lost a lot of good workers and a lot of hardworking people. He says it led to some farms shutting down, hoping with the end of Title 42, things will get better. I'm honestly glad. You know, it's going to help uh, help out my industry a lot. Multiple county sheriffs spoke about this at a press briefing Wednesday, calling on the federal government to take action. All the sheriffs unanimously agree we have to secure the border. It adversely affects our ability to provide public safety for our community. Maricopa County Sheriff Paul Penzone and Pinal County Sheriff Mark Lamb concerned about the amount of money and resources that will be used with the massive influx of migrants. We're going to see a lot more search and rescue calls out in the desert. So yeah, this is having a tremendous impact on us, on our budgets, on our resources, on our manpower. Expecting many will be dropped off all over the state with drug and human smugglers getting through as well targeting rural communities like Stanfield. Cartels, they gravitate towards these areas because they think there's a less sophisticated system of law enforcement. An issue they say needs to be addressed by federal agencies. And we're trying to hold the federal government responsible for a job that is theirs. Penzone even considering legal action. I plan on talking to the attorney general and see if there's a way we could either send a bill or send a lawsuit. All sheriffs agreeing a solution needs to happen sooner rather than later. In the meantime, the rule of law will apply in Arizona to everybody equally. Don't cross the line. You don't have to worry about crossing us. In Stanfield, Chase Lightly, 12 News. All right.